All right, I think we are live. If you're here and you want to learn more about KV Core lead generation and everything there is to about this high powered lead generation real estate website, you're in the right place. I am here with a fairly new agent with EXP, but he is not new with technology at all. As a matter of fact, in a short amount of time, this guy is crushing it. Uh, uh, Motaz Buyami, or I just say Mo. How you doing, Mo? I'm doing good, Sal. Yeah. How's everybody good. doing? <laughs> Fantastic. This is, uh, in full disclosure, it's Mo's very first webinar. <laughs> very first. Don't I'm, be nervous. I'm, I'm excited and nervous at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So um, for those of you who are turning in, we're, we're actually uh, live on Facebook as well as YouTube. Uh, I think you can send us some questions as, as you have along the way. There's so much to this application. If you're watching this and you're not with eXp, you're probably wondering what the heck is KV Core. And if you're with eXp, you probably know what it is, but you're not utilizing it. And let's just say that it's a Ferrari of lead generation websites and there's a lot to it. So we're going to try and touch upon some high level stuff. Uh, Mo, maybe you can just kind of give us a, a quick uh, background of you. You know, you, you're very um, tech savvy. Um, yes, but uh, but my main uh, my main area was I was a realtor from 2002 until 2008. When the market went down a little bit, I switched careers to insurance. So I worked for all estate insurance company for a few years, and then I decided to open my own agency. So I became an independent insurance agent. Uh, and then lately, last year, I thought about getting back to real estate. Luckily, I didn't have to go to school again because I had the license before. So what I had to do is just went ahead and took the exam. And I passed it, of course, and I became a realtor. I joined KW for a few months, and then I found David, uh, introduced me to EXP and the beautiful uh, system with KV Core, and that was the thing that made me switch to EXP. So I've been with EXP for about maybe six months now. Yeah, it's it's an incredible uh, application. And I would say most agents have a website, but they just use it to post dogs, you know, pic pictures of their dogs or, you know, they don't really generate any business from it. They don't incubate leads. And this is a site that allow you to juggle multiple contacts very effortless, effortlessly, uh, seamlessly, and some of the things that you're going to, you know, teach us today are going to take it to even another level, right? So real quickly, I'm going to do a screen share and I'm going to show everybody uh, exactly what I am talking about. So first of all, this is KV Core. It's by Inside Real Estate. The platform that we're using is just this. It is a CRM. It's an IDX. It is lead generation. It has texting capabilities. It has got all kinds of stuff that you can use. Uh, and so <clears throat> this is what the front of it looks like. And, you know, there's some customization to it. But what we're going to be talking about, Mo is going to show us how to do some really, really cool customization. And this is one of these sites that uh, literally, if you were to buy it off the street, it probably costs you 500 bucks. 500 bucks a month uh, to maintain. And I would guarantee that most agents are probably using about 10% of its horsepower. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And and uh, it's meant to be much like Zillow and Truly and Realtor. That it, it, they want people uh, to, consumers to go on here, uh, start searching for homes, right? And then when they start clicking on homes, what they want them to do is capture that lead. So I, I don't know what. And then it's going to ask them to uh, resubscribe. I'm a, a resubscriber because this is my own website, but it's going to ask you to put in your name, email, and that gets you started. So what I wanted to do is maybe first start off with Mo. I'm going to un, un uh, screen here, and maybe you can show us some of the things that you do aesthetically with the front of the uh, the website. The very first page, you've created uh, something called an, a, a welcome avatar. Maybe you can take over. Sure, but before before I say that, before I talk about that, the first thing that I want to talk about is basically the system is great. The back end of it, the the, you know, the backbone of the system is great. The IDX, you know, the the CRM, everything goes straight to your CRM, and it will be processed, and you will generate leads this this uh, this way. 
the front end of it, it's basic. It's a, it's a, as you said, it's going to be a, a website for you to go for the consumer to go and search for a house. Uh, but also, we want to make it a little bit more fun and 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 also to engage more with with uh, with the consumers or the visitors of your website. So that's why I was looking for things, and I finally, you know, I introduced myself to one of my companies. You know, I have another company called um, ChattingPal that dot com. This company we we create chatting. Uh, buddy or chatting uh, bot, robot for your site. So um, it's an interact. My- it's an interactive web uh, uh, avatar that'll answer questions and chat with you, and it could do it uh, either by a tree or real time. Not, not only that, it's two. It's both of them together. I have an avatar that introduces you, you or the visitor to the website, and I also have a chatting bot. For, for you know the consumer to ask questions and you as an agent you don't have to be there answering all these questions you can be on the go ahead right now show, show everybody what this yeah. is and, okay. and Mo was a little bashful in showing this but uh yeah <laughs> I, th- I think it's a great tool when somebody goes on there it's a great first impression yep okay there I'm we go my, i'm sharing my uh my screen right now. Yep. And you want to show the website? Right. So th- basically, this is the back end as we know it. You know, yep. all the, you know, the, the features that uh, KV Corp uh, provide us with. Mm-hmm. And this is my website. So when you go here and you, and you pre- preview your website, look at the right bottom corner what's going to happen right there. There's a guy showed up on the bottom corner here. And this guy Now, obviously, we can't hear it. But that is you can't hear it. Th- th- that's okay. But the idea is that you you can either do a green screen of this or you can have an avatar let, let me explain to you. You can do both. You can do either or. Actually, uh, we have some avatars, and this these avatars will will say the same thing that that person will do. But I also can have a spokesman like that person to do the same job, or we can have a video of you as as an as a real estate agent to say the same thing, and with a green screen, and I will convert that to an avatar, or or have you know that person talk about their own website. On the right corner here. This is part of the one <coughs> side of the of the service. The other side of the service is the chatting uh, area here. So if I if I is asking me what's my name, so if I say Mo, is going to answer my question. Hello, Mo, and is going to ask me questions about real estate. I don't oh have to be. Oh my gosh! It's automatically. I don't have to be, uh, automatically. I can do multiple scenarios, endless scenarios, and put the questions and put the answers and give you multiple choices, you know, to, if you, are you looking for a, a home to buy or you have a home for sale, you know, and the customer will answer the, uh, you know, choose the, the, the right answer. And the, the, the next question is going to take time. And, and if you notice, it's going to, it's going to show you just like a human is typing for real, but you don't have to be there. Everything is going to be done automatically. And the beauty about that is all the information that the visitor of the website uh, um, choose here and that, chatting but it's going to go straight to your uh to your uh, email or we can collect all this information and send it by zapier to your uh you know uh, a spreadsheet and that spreadsheet will be transferred to your kv code back end uh, and you will have the drip campaign so you don't have to be there every everything can be done for you someone visiting your, your website answer all the questions the question will be answered and will be transferred to your KV core. And if you have the drip campaign and you have the mailing list there, that will be automatically sent email to that person, thanking him for visiting the website. And I got all your information. What's the best time for me to call you? Things like that. So that is awesome. So yeah, in, in layman's terms, they go to your website. It's either an avatar, a model, or it could be yourself. Welcoming right. them to your website, giving them direction, telling them what to do. And if they actually start a chat, it'll automatically start an immediate response to them. 
Exactly, exactly. And you don't, you don't even, as I said, you don't have to be there. All the questions would be answered by this robotic uh, system that we previously enter all the information and enter all the answers for every question uh, that will, will the visitor will have. That is super slick. And you told me that it's not just with KV Core. It can be a WordPress site or Wix or a variety of different sites. Sure. Let me let me show you my personal uh, WordPress website, uh, which is my my chatting pal website. And in the bottom here, if you look, look the same area, same place, look look there. It's not a spokesman. It's a woman. It's an avatar. She's welcome welcome me to the website, and also have the same exact features on the right hand side that that someone will talk, you know. To that checking bot and get all the information needed. So it can be a, an avatar, as you, as you said, and it can be a person, a spokesman, a generic spokesman like that, or your own voice. I can go to your office, take a video on a, a green screen, and I take that and upload it to the system and, and let you personally introduce yourself and welcome your visitors of the website, you know, to your own website. How you slick is that? And, and yeah. you said that you can... <coughs> Excuse me. That's that's allergies, by the way. You can take it to another level where you could actually have multiple pages. So you could have a page on your, you know, your background. You could have one on a community and have a different welcoming uh, avatar on each one. Exactly. It's it's unlimited. I can if you have twenty pages in your website, I can have twenty different avatars to do to do twenty different uh, things on each page will be different. Yeah, wow, exactly. that is awesome. So what we'll do is I, um, we're going to leave a link in uh, the description uh, on Capital Crusaders and also the YouTube channel for you to get in touch with Mo. So, you know, we can go on and on about this, but we're trying to pick point um, uh, just the highlights of what you could be doing with these sites to take it to another level. Mo will be able to help you with taking uh, that and use utilizing these welcoming features on the bottom sure, right hand and, corner. And, and as we said, I'm, I'm a re realtor too. So I, I know what the real estate business and I know the questions that I may get from our you know visitors. So I, 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 I can say, I, I can um, customize that, but to answer all the questions. And before, before we go, before we leave this area, I'm yes. going to show you something else. The same thing that we can do to your um, uh, Facebook Messenger page. Look at that. If I can just go ahead and uh, here, someone is visiting my website right now, right now and click on message me. So uh -huh. when you go there, you get click, get started and see what's going to happen. Just like Mo is typing those, all those questions and, uh, and welcoming that person. And it's, look, look, it's beautiful. And when you click on absolutely, when you ask me if, if, I, if, I, if you allow me to go forward, Look, look, look what's going to happen. <laughs> you didn't show me this one. This is pretty slow. Nah, this is new. <laughs> this is new. And it, and it shows me a, business, a digital business card of mine. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to ask me, ask, ask the customer if you want. Could you have a video one. pop up there? Yeah, I can, I can do pretty much anything. Look at the question. The question is, is great. You want me to, are you here to, to, to buy or sell a house? Say, say the customer said, I'm, I'm selling a house. Right. What, what, what's happening? I'm not typing anything. I'm not typing anything. The, 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 the chatting bots will do that for wow. me. Wow. He's asking me, you want to buy a family, single family home? Yes. See what's going to happen. Is this the same application or is this something it's, different? It's a different application, but it's the same idea. There's okay. no avatar in here because this, this one is going to be linked to your messenger, to your Facebook messenger. The wow. other one will be in your website. So you have both, actually both things. Yeah, you can, if, if, the, if the visitor, Visited your website will have the avatar and the other system that I showed you earlier. And right. if the visitor went to your web, to your Facebook website, I mean the page, that was going to happen. See that the customer is asking for by selling a house and this is a your primary house. Yes, look what's going to happen. More, more questions. Everything is set up already. So the mo is going to say, "Excellent. Let me see what I can do for you." You know, it's, what's it's your as if as if you were actually communicating with communicating them. with. Yeah, I'm not here. I can, I can, I can be with my grandchildren right now, doing, having fun, and and, and my system is going to answer all the customers' questions. And the beauty of it, all this information, even the 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 
the conversation will be captured and sent to my email. And in one email, it'll have the entire conversation. The, the Facebook email in this case. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That and is... uh, yeah, and also I can send the report. I can have whoever's going to use the service can have a report for the last seven days. So automatically, we'll calculate every seven days. You know the conversation that happens on the website or the messenger uh, page, and we'll collect all this information. The the, the, the most important part here is uh, is the, inform the, the the name, the phone number, the email address, and in in the messenger uh, side, we'll also collect if that person is here to buy a house or to sell a house or to invest in real estate. So here, uh, it says, what's the value of your home? If you can say here five hundred thousand. And collect that because at the end of it is is very it's very informative let me let me show you we go a little bit. i'll take another minute just to show you the end of it see the automatically you will populate the the, the visitors uh, email address because i'm chatting with me with myself right 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 but if you if you are here i'm going to show david at whatever uh, email address are so when i click on, i don't even have to type my email address that that the system will choose it for it me. just grabs it yeah, exactly. And it says here, a great model can uh, join me, call you within the next 24 hours. Yes. In this case, it's going to also grab my phone number if my phone number is already on the Facebook. See? And it will go forward. That is slick. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome thing. Yeah, you don't have to be there. Do, do what you have to do. I mean, leave that system, answer all the customers' questions, and you're out there, you know, you know cleaning your, your, your database, you know, uh, right. showing how it'll run automatically. Everybody. Will this pop up if they go to your personal Facebook page? Can you have it pop up to start the conversation? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's, that's yeah. Guys, if you're watching this, this is some high level stuff. I mean, uh, and it and it helps with engaging with those buyers and sellers, just starting those little conversations. So first of all, all right, we look, just learned, uh, learned about yeah, introduction. Last, sorry, David, look at the last thing here. When 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 we answer all those questions, Yes. So the, the check enter data is going to summarize everything uh, that customer see is going to is going to grab is going to grab the name is going to grab the name of the person uh, right. if he's selling or not if he has a single family home and the zip code of the the house and the the estimate estimated prices of the value of the house the email address and the phone number and wow. if you see everything is here correct you confirm it and guess what? All this information will be emailed to the owner of this messenger right away. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, that is that awesome. You can do this on your website. Well, the same. So uh, talk, I mean, first of all, we just learned about a, a greeting uh, avatar <laughs> or green screen for you. Look at you. Right. <laughs> you learned about interaction on social media, on uh, Facebook uh, chats. Show us some of the customization that you've done with your website, your KV Core website, on some of the custom pages sure. you've implemented. Okay, uh, this is another thing. Yeah, this is my my web, my KV Core EXP website. Yep. Uh, my first my first name and my last name. Uh, let me let me close this just to show the whole screen. So we're done with the avatar already. Uh, the basic, the generic website that we get from EXP has few few items here. I added some custom pages. The best uh, that I have here is the guide. I have uh, a guide for say the local uh, local county, uh, Lowndes County uh, guide. So when you click on this one, I can do this per county. I can, if, if your business is in Loudoun County, I can, we can do that for you. We can do Loudoun County guide and that will show all the cities, all the cities of Loudoun County, all the Loudoun County sites, uh, such as this, I was. I want to ch check the the Loudoun Library. I don't have to go to Google and, and search for Loudoun uh, County Library. I can just click here. It's gonna take me, which is this one is um, probably needs. It's not a HTTPS, and and it's gonna take me there because of I think because of the COVID nineteen, they they put some warning on that. But if, if say we choose something, you cho choose like uh, like Aldi County site. It's going to take me straight to Aldi. And also, I can go to um, hospitals, uh, just Inova, Alexandria. It will take me straight to Nova.org. Uh, 
it's basically it custom pages for whatever it is uh, you want, community, uh, particular uh, business sectors, whatever. Right, even the transportation, even if you want to go the, to the Loudoun County bus service, from here, you can go straight there. You don't have to go to open another tab and search for, for with Google, you know, for the, you know, the Loudoun County uh, you know, transit, transit commuter service or whatever. Whatever you want, I can, we can customize that. So in, in my fact, I wanted to make our website or your website as a realtor is not only to search houses. Yeah, right. You know, we need this to search houses and sell homes and everything. But also in the meantime, we want to we want to have other things. You know, so we want to we want to have that customer or the visitor to stay in our web page as long as we can. We don't want them to go out and, and, and do something different. Show and some also, of the uh, other. Oh, go ahead. And everything here is going to open in the, on a, on another tab, so the the customer is not gonna is not gonna leave you and go to that website and stay there. So when I when I go to any of the links here, it's gonna this is of course internal. So but when when I want to go to um, say that I have uh, uh, videos, I have tons of videos to you know to Loudoun County videos. So if you want to go to parks, you know to visit Loudoun and things like that, I can have big. It's gonna be more fun, just other than having just a boring website. The longer you keep them on your website, the better chance you have better, of uh, interacting with them. That's uh, correct. Uh, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Maybe you can talk a little bit about uh, just touch real briefly on this other thing, Homekeeper, that we get offered. Okay. I know it's a paid service, but I just thought that that was pretty cool. Right. Uh, see, that's, that's just um, uh, my trusted pros section of my website is, is a paid service, as David said, uh, with Homekeeper. But this is also very uh, awesome because, because you have all the people in your area that will be professionally can can help you as a realtor so if you're looking for say appraisers so you click on appraiser here and, and then you click on view more it's going to show you every appraiser around you you can communicate with that person hire him uh, if he, or interview him if he's going to give you a better deal than the other people that you're using and that will basically for every profession you if you want to go back here so my trusted uh, pros every profession available will be here so you can go to you know contractors you can go to electricians says if you go to electricians here it's going to show every electrician you know around you uh you can it's like having a little you know, contractor yellow pages right on your website exactly right on in your website as i said this is a paid service from homekeeper but but also it's it's not i think i think kv core uh have a special deal with them i think you're uh, right yeah so uh, basically, it's it's a it's a one one uh, section in your website that's gonna keep as you as David said, you're gonna keep the customer as long as as possible uh, in your website. Uh, one more thing I wanna I wanna show real quick is schedule yep. a meeting. So uh, this one also can be here and also can be on your messenger uh, website. But if you click that button, it's gonna it's gonna open. Um, uh, pick up a, a date or a time to meet with Mo. Say the customer wants, after all this, you know, pandemic thing over, hopefully soon, we will we will be able to meet our customers. So if, if they want to call us or they want to meet us for, for a quick interview, you know, can, we can choose the day here, choose the time and confirm. And guess what? That will be automatically transferred to my uh, Google calendar. So... Yeah. Uh, and it's all integrated. So when somebody signs up there, it looks at the availability that you have right. and then works. That is because, awesome. Because I'm, because I'm not logged in. It's my own website, as you said before. That's what, but if it's your, if you're logged in already, all the information of that visitor will be collected here and sent to my calendar. And, I, and I'm going to get an, a text message, an email that someone visited your website and wants to meet with you in that particular time and date. Is anybody learning anything out here? Maybe you can show us the back office of not necessarily going soup to nuts on setting up a page, but if, if an agent was watching this, where do I go to even set up a page? Sure. Good question. Uh, so this is the back end. And uh, if you go here to the web and IDX. Web and IDX. 
is going to show you the, everything on the left hand side here if you want to edit your website if you want to add something to the you know to the footer or or something you know uh, 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 javascript um, um, code or anything like that but on the right hand side here you will have all your custom pages i have a 31 custom pages over here unbelievable maybe, maybe you only have zero right maybe two or one uh, so what you have to do is here to view and edit uh -huh. and you will have a list of all the um the custom pages in my website see how i have 31 of them some of them if i don't want to use them right now i can just turn them off right now and instead of delete them so maybe in the future i want it uh, uh you know i want to work with it so here it says welcome to my website i don't need this now and if you go here and you go to the guide, you're not going to find it. If you go to service, you're not right, going to find it. Right, it just turns it off. It turns right. Yeah. If where where does it, it on, say add a new okay. custom page? Right here. Right here on the top. Got it. New page. When you get a new page, it's blank. It's, it's, it's you, well, whatever you write here and you name that website, I mean the page, you give it a title and you say whatever you want to say here and you say, and you, and you, and you tell the, the system where you want to save it. So, I have the guides, I have the service, I have the community. If I choose here guides and I and I create a new website and call it Mo or Motaz, I say and I say here hi, welcome to Mo's. Okay, and I save this. Okay, it's already automatically built build it build a new uh, page on my website called Motaz. So when I go here, so now it's going to take a little time to, you know, to populate. process. To populate the search. And then the only thing I noticed that it's that it's a little bit, you know, it bothers me a little bit is, is when you when you when you create a new uh, page on your website, it goes alphabetical order. I, I want it to have a way I think I'm going to call text support and see if I can have that Loudoun County uh, video page to be on the top. It goes here in alphabetical order. So this is Motaz. This is the one I just created. When I click right. here, it, it shows hi, welcome to Mo. I wonder if you if you put a one in front exactly. or two. Exactly, you can do that. Three. Exactly, yeah. you know, zero or one. But it's it's going to look funny because it's going to show here. And instead of saying Motaz, we're going to show one Motaz. So right. it doesn't, yeah. So, but it, but we're going to find we're going to find a way to do it. I'm going to call like six or four and see if we can do anything. Got else. it. And if I if I don't want to show this Motaz, see it goes here in the alphabetical order as well. So if I want to uh, show this, I can just turn it off and turn it back on. So are most of those uh, just for the people that are watching? They may not necessarily be real tech savvy. Are are these HTML or can they type stuff in? Awesome question. Awesome question. Uh, so when I go back here to Motaz and try to edit, oh, this is not this is not it. There's another one called Motaz right here. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I have to I have to refresh. Yep. See you now. Remember we had we had 31 pages. Yep. Now we have 32 because right. I added a page. So when we go here to view and edit, I'm gonna find another uh, page called Motors, which is gonna be right here. So I have two yep. pages yep. called one before. This one is off. Yep. It has this picture of the lady I'm working with. And it so shows you the one, date that you originated it. Uh, absolutely. And then if I wanted to edit this one, back to your question, this is just a plain text. If I wanna do HTML, I will go to the source code and put something here, put an, a, a JavaScript. I can go to what, to YouTube. Let me go to YouTube real quick. Most people are not gonna know how to do JavaScript, at least create it. They can cut, copy and paste stuff. Right. But most people, I would say probably less than 10% would do that. But like you said, you can cut, copy the source code from a video. Exactly, and, and that's that's what I'm here for. I mean, if someone needs <coughs> help, you know, they can just contact me, I can help. Uh, you know, tell them exactly where to go and where to get, you know, that code and how to, you know. Let me let me find a, let me find a video of David. <laughs> oh, great! You're gonna embarrass me. It's gonna have David Harbor, the actor. You got to put David <laughs> Harbor, real estate agent. That that darn 
movie star. He's got me every time. <laughs> okay, he's more famous than you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so say this is one of the David's uh, uh, videos. And then when I go share here, he gave me choices. So now if I go to embedded, embedded, I can just copy this right copy here. Copy that, right. Copy, and then go back here to my website. And, and remember, we are in the source code. Yep. So we can just delete this, copy this, and click paste okay. it there. Click OK. I have Drops you know, it right in there. And you can still even put text in there above or below yeah. that video. Yeah. It's, a, it's a full HTML section that you can you can create a, pretty much a whole web page. But remember, uh, remember the, the our website, it's two thirds and a third here. So you have two third here and one third here. So you want to make widget. sure that you're not, yeah, exactly, because of the widget and, and, uh, and the sidebar. You don't want to, you don't want to create an HTML code here that will be a full size. Otherwise it's going to, it's going to cover that um, you know section and it's gonna it's gonna create some problems for you. So you want to make sure to make that right left hand side of the page as, as a two two thirds of the entire. Side. What is the width that you would normally say on a two thirds? Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Okay. So if you're listening to that and you're creating your own page, custom page, and it has HTML in it, it's usually got a height and a width that you put in there. Put seven hundred as the width. I do that. Just out of curiosity. What is a slug? Do you know? Uh, the, the, the slug, yeah, of course I do. Uh, slug is that 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 name right there. You see that? Okay. So this is a slug. Uh, and it always will be no spaces. Uh, we'll, we'll put dashes. If it's David Harbor, it's going to be David slash Harbor. Uh, and, uh, and, and this is what the pointer of the, of the, that particular uh, page in, in your website. Got so it. When you, when you want to go back here, let, let's let's uh, edit that. Let's edit that, the one that we have here, and call it David. David Harbor, and look what's gonna happen to the slug. See, it's David Dash Harbor. Okay, when before I you go anywhere, the, don't don't go oh, anywhere. Go oh, back to okay. that. I'm okay. gonna ask you one other thing. I'm putting you on the spot here. Um, okay. RSS or property feed. Is that for like yeah. a new, like a, having a newsletter or if you're subscribing to something where it'll automatically. Yeah. You got it. Yeah, you exactly. Okay. So if you're hearing that, if you have some type of blogging that you're RSS and feeding from or a news feed, you can put that on there and then have a news feed. Maybe it's real estate related. Maybe it's locally related. Can you get an RSS feed off of a newspaper in your community, an online Absolutely. newspaper? Absolutely, you can do that. Yeah. Then also, yeah. the the meta tag description is a very important thing too. You can say some some things about you that will help Google uh, search engine to find you Fact for search engine search. optimization. Exactly, SEO. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, and all and all, and also you see here, I can I can turn I can put this page right now that called uh, David Harbor. In a different tab, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna move it to service. So remember, right. it was in the guide. But right now, when I when I go back here and refresh, I'm, it's not gonna be Motaz anymore. It's not gonna be Motaz. It's gonna be David Harbor, but also it's not gonna be in the in the guide. It's gonna be in that under the service tab. Got it. So it's still populating. It takes a little longer. Now this that you've created 32 custom pages. You don't do this all in one day. You might do a page or two and a day or something. Depends on who you are. You might you <laughs> might have knocked it out in a day, but most most uh you know mortals are probably not gonna do that. Uh you don't you don't need 32. You know, the 32 uh, you know, some you know, some the amount of pages that I was, you know, trying and, and see I think this is a lot of thinking too. When I do a, you know, create a page, I sit down and look at it and say, is it going to help me, you know, help the customers? Is that really, right. you know, necessary? Is, do I need this page? So, but, but the, the, I learned the hard way. I didn't want to delete something. I said, oh, I shouldn't delete that. I should go back and create another one. It's going to take me another half an hour. So I usually keep him or make a backup of my website all the time. Uh, in this case, I, I turn it off and I copy the source. And I and I keep it. I use a MacBook Pro, so I go I go to my notes 
and I have tons of things on my notes. Like everything I, I do, I copy it and paste it and call it something on my notes. So I can go back to it. All I have to do is go back to this, copy it and paste it again, give it another name, and I will have the page. I learned yeah. the hard way. I lost a lot of things before. That's why we're <laughs> going to learn from you. you you've, you've done all the hard knocks. The, I, I, listen, I, 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 at the end of the day, this is fun and it's pretty, but uh, we want to make sure that it generates leads for you, that it helps your clients out, that it's a service for them to stay on your website longer to look for homes, right? Yeah, right. This is, this is what do you think? You think it's uh, is it going to generate leads this way or no? I I think that it will keep people on your website longer, which could lead to lead generation. I think it'll definitely help out with clients. If you have resources for buying and selling and closing and settlement information, and it's all on your website, that's going to get them to drive there. Decide to buy. If you decide to buy, there's an article here about what you have to do if you want to buy a new house. And also, do you guys know about this? This is this is very good. This is a uh, QR code. The QR code to go you know, to your app. So you, right. can, you can have that customer take a picture of that and go and download the app in, uh, in the in smartphone. That is awesome. Uh, yeah. But look, look, look at that. Also have one quick thing, you know, I know, I know that we're running out, out of time, but uh, this, this is my footer. This, the footer has more than just your name and your phone number. It has here uh, a signature app basically. And it has all links to my email address, to my, uh, if you want to schedule a meeting with me, you remember the calendar that we had yeah, before? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I have a pop up here. I don't have, you don't have to go and choose that from the top. And also have a mortgage calculator. Say that you are, the customer is pushing the house, pushing the house for 600000 and see what's going to happen. It's going to automatically calculate the what, mortgage. Now, wait, a se- wait a second. Where, what page is that on? It's in my page, in my footer. <laughs> so at the bottom of your KV core site, you have that as your footer, right? Oh, that I, is, I, man, that's sweet. <laughs> I, I, you know, if if as I said, you know, I'm I have I have my company. I have my company here is is uh, the Chatting Pal. I digitize your business. This is my company. This is what I do besides real estate and insurance and other things that are doing around the house here. <laughs> well, maybe what we can do is, uh, you know, you're offering some of your services just by being a nice guy. So maybe uh, one or two of these things, you could post a video to show in detail what you may have done, like a two minute snippet to share with uh, the folks on this feed uh, at a sure. later point in time. That'd be awesome. Sure. Cause I, I'd, l- I'd love to see what you did and how you did this. Um, I'm, I'm not. I'm not advertising myself, even though I do. <laughs> but but uh, I'll but, advertise you <laughs> on the other stuff. You, you definitely need to check that out. But but uh, as I said, if, if someone you know from our from our office or from you know ESP realtors, uh, you know needs help, you know for something that it's not gonna take me that much of a time, uh, I, I will definitely do it. You know, as a courtesy, as a as a. You're people. a generous Thank guy. You. You're Thank a generous you. guy. But if, hey. if it's, if it's going to take time and if it's going to take a lot of coding and things like that, then I, I would definitely, you know, I'm available for, and, I, and my prices are not that high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to switch speeds a little bit here. I'm going to take the baton and I'm going to run a little bit with lead gen. Okay. Sure. You, uh, I, I think I, I think I, I thought I thought I'm gonna take talk for a, a ten minutes or so. I, I took the whole time. Sorry about no, that. No, 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 no. That's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna touch upon a couple of quick things and and listen. We could probably so I'm have this. Stop sharing, right? I'm gonna stop sharing. You go ahead. <laughs> yeah. No. I I think I have it. I I uh, got it under control okay. here. Sure. The sure. um is there's so many facets to this. We really could have a series. I mean about. You know, you have KV core training, but then you have, this is a whole nother higher level of training, which, you know, Mo has opened my eyes to a bunch of stuff. Guys, if you're not using this site to uh, help you incubate leads, you're missing it. You're missing it big time. Uh, This is right here, looking at your dashboard. This is the smart CRM, or rather the dashboard that shows you all the activity that's happened on your site, the interactions, the texting. And as you can see, it'll tell you a whole bunch of information. Like, obviously, we just pulled this up a second ago, but Andrew Welty just texted me about an hour ago about a particular property. We went back and forth. This is the house that he looked at. He looked at it on his his desktop. Two hours ago, he looked at it on his phone. It really drills down and allows you to have communication from, uh, 
you know, not your typical, hey, I, I want to meet with you face to face, but it starts building that relationship with giving them small uh, pieces of information, helping them narrow their search. And so this is the smart CRM where you start to generate leads, whether you're doing your own free stuff, which we're going to show you real quickly here how you can generate some leads, or you have some paid advertising. Now, I've recently started a campaign and I tell you what guys, it works. It works incredibly well. Just within, I'm sharing this with uh, a couple of agents, but within the last, I'd say two weeks, uh, I'm spending 250 and it's already generating a number of leads where people are coming in, interacting, and uh, you're off to the races. And that's all you can ask for. You're probably not going to you know, close a high percentage of those. But if you ride that shotgun along all of your other existing business, your open houses, your other type of marketing, uh, it's a nice supplement. And th when you drill down into a particular individual, it's going to give you some great information about, you know, who they are. That's going to tell you the history of your automatic drip and text campaigns. It's going to let you know uh, the types of properties that they're looking at. And over here, it's going to give you their name, email, and phone number if they put it in. And as you can see, most of the people that are coming to the website, they're not putting in Mickey Mouse 000. They're putting in accurate information because they want to see homes on your website. And so right from here, you have the ability to call them, email them, make notes, or this is probably one of the most responsive ways to communicate is send them a text message. Real simple. People like to you know, communicate via text. It's simple and it's not very invasive. Hey, saw you're checking out on the website. You want me, you're trying to get them to sign up on your MLS drip campaign. That's the next step. But you can send them quick messages based on the properties that they're looking at or give them feedback on the properties that they're looking at. And Mo, jump in if you have anything to, to suggest here, because I, I know that sure, I don't have um, all the answers. Sure. Do you, do you know if, 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 you made a, uh, if you made a phone call with that particular person, that will be recorded, not the voice itself, not the conversation itself, but it's going uh, to rec record here what happened. It will tell you that um, uh, Nancy called you at 5 o'clock p.m. and it spent 15 minutes and 22 seconds on your, on that phone call. So that thing, instead of just you personally go there and type notes for yourself to remember, that system will automatically do it for you so you can go back. And, ah, she called me on that particular day at four, 5 o'clock and spent a, uh, like an hour with me. And, and, uh, and then you can go back and edit you know, she was uh, looking for that particular property. She said that, uh, you know, her son is sick, things like that. So you can remember. So next time when you call that person, hey, how's your son today? <laughs> you know what I mean? Things right. like that. So the system will automatically, uh, uh, not recording, but but will uh, put, you know, that the conversation and everything that happens between you and that particular person will be in that. Uh, it's in that recorded way. here in your log. Exactly. One, some of the other log, things is, uh, a lot of people ask about these hashtags. What the heck is a hashtag? And the ha best hash hashtag is basically. Uh, do you, you want to go for it? You know I mean? Yeah, I was just. I mean, hashtags are basically a way of helping you categorize. So, say you got five hundred contacts in there. Hashtags right. are saying, "Where did this person come from? Are they a buyer or a seller? Was it paid advertising?" It allows you to dissect that data into more a manageable approach. So, when you send out a targeted message to buyers saying, "Hey, I got some free time this weekend." And you only want it to go out to buyers. You can target it that way. That's one part of the hashtag. The other part of the hashtag, was, which is also more powerful, is when you have the hashtag to communicate with your drip campaign. So you can tell your drip campaign everybody under this this particular hashtag. Send them an email at five o'clock, uh, six six o'clock every evening to say to say you know hi to them, whatever. That hashtag will also not also categorize, you know, that particular person for you to take an action, but also for the drip campaign to take an action. 
Wow. And yeah. and you can put in different uh, um, types of hashtags. You can put in, this is a buyer, it's a, it's a paid lead, and it's one that I'm sharing with somebody on my team or whatever. And as Mo said, I can, as you can see, checkbox here and say I wanted to add a hashtag and I wanted to make up want one. one. Yeah. I can just do uh hashtag uh Not, test. Don't, yeah don't do hash hashtag just just type the name and it's gonna put the hashtag for you okay okay and then i'll update it and that'll add so the next time i want to put in it you'll see that nancy will have a uh, hashtag test or something on it right but you know, yeah and I can also send out, this is a really nice feature too. And so say you have a number of people in your database and you can see whether they're buyers or sellers. I can send out a mass email or a mass text to all of those people. And so imagine this, you've got 50 buyers there and you say, hey, I have uh, two hours on a Saturday. Does anybody want to go out and see homes? Short, simple, right to their phones. You'll get a response. Yeah. Or can I you, a, a shortcut because it, instead of just going to, through all your list and, and look for buyers, go yeah. to the filter. Go to the filter on the top, the green button button yep. on here. The filter yep. you can yep. choose here. The you know the buyer is gonna is gonna bring this prospect, the new the new lead. If you click on one of them, it's gonna only show you only those people under this category. Got it. Yeah. So when you're here, you apply the filter on the bottom. Uh huh. And look, nice. it's going to show you only those people. So you can, you can highlight all of them and send them a mass email or a mass text. That is slick. Send yeah. voicemails? You can do that too. Yeah. So does it bypass their ringer and it just sends a voicemail? It's going to send a voicemail. I did not try it. Don't get me uh, on that. I did, I did not the, try it, I, I think. Wait it's a gonna, second. Send a personalized your... message straight to your client's voicemail inbox. Whoa, I just stumbled upon something. Did you know this? Yeah, and I know that, but but I never <laughs> tried it. But but it's gonna go to you. You have to have this app on your on your phone. You have to have the core voicemail add to your uh, an app to your phone. It's so you it's much it. like slide dial. So if I, you exactly yeah, it's it sounds like that's the exact same thing. So wow, that is so cool. So yeah. you could drop a, a voicemail to everybody uh introducing yourself, and it exactly. does you don't have to have that conversation with them. Right, and 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 the best way to do it is to not not to send. If you, I personally have about nine thousand people in my database, because I'm using all those leads for my insurance business. Right, but, uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to send a voicemail to nine thousand people. So I can go and go to this filter and use and choose a, a particular uh, group, or I can I can have that hashtag to tell me, you know, I want to send that voicemail to this hashtag only. So I can. Because I don't, I don't want to send the same voicemail to everybody. Right, you know, I, right. Yeah, that's the beauty of the, using the hashtags or using and the, the filters person. is mm -hmm. you target that specific message, so you don't get a seller saying, "Hey, do you want to see homes?" and you know, telling buyers, "Are you ready to list your property in this spring?" You know, David. You know why? You know why I switched to EXP? It's because of that system, <laughs> basically. I don't and, want to bad mouth the other people, but I, I was with them. The system that they have is not as powerful. This, this thing is, is a, it is I tell people it's a Ferrari and really you have to jump in and it's like a gym membership. If you're not, you know, using it, you're not going to get anything out of it. But if it's there, guys, learn this system because it's really cool and it's got some great features to it. And right. I guarantee it'll help you with your business. Right, definitely, uh, and also you know what the one thing that I uh, that you explained to me the first time we met, yes, uh, and it was it was that thing that you're going through right now is is to list all the you know the the listings and and share them on your uh, Facebook or or um, uh, Craigslist or whatever that was one yeah of the part, yeah. This this to me is is really really slick. So real quick, I'm okay. going to show you how to in two seconds. I say let's go to a, a, a scenario. I'm new, or right now the well is dry and I don't have any listings. Okay, no problem. Go to listings tab. If you're with the company EXP, you can take a listing. We have this understanding, and you can send it out provided it's our listing and start to fish for other lead opportunities. 
and and watch this. The le if anybody clicks on that particular house, it's coming right back to you. So here's a house right here. Uh, it's listed by uh, Stephen Gardner, uh, listing agent. He wants to sell the house. Right here, I can obviously send this and email this and create a, a flyer if I'm doing an open house. But here are some neat things. Right from here, I can. It connects with my Facebook. So let's face it. There's a lot of buyers and sellers that are out there in your community on Facebook. I can write out, check out this wonderful listing. Where is it? Is it in Ashburn? I don't know. An off the market listing. Listing. And you'll see in the bottom left-hand corner, it's my website. So when I actually post it to that particular social media platform, guess what? It's going to show up on my feed. And when somebody clicks on it, it's going to go to my website. And I can do that for Twitter, Pinterest. All I do is I click on it. I connect it. Check out this. Boom. It's going to post to my Twitter feed. But here's the one that, you know, probably about three, four years ago, a lot of people were doing Craigslist ads, but then they became somewhat complicated on how to do this. Well, KV Core is integrated with a nice plugin that if you have a Craigslist account, which is free, watch this. I'm clicking on it. <clears throat> I'd make one click. It's automatically grabbing the information from that listing, grabbing the picture and populating it. And guess what? It's got Are you my. Typing no. No, I didn't show you that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show the other people that you're not typing anything. You I am not typing anything. That, that's yeah. the only thing is I clicked on Virginia and it posts right there. I tell people, I guarantee you, you do this, you know, while you're having a cup of coffee in the morning, you can do, you know, 15 of these in 10, 15 minutes and you'll get somebody to call you back and text you on it. Okay. That's that's just a small sampling of some of the ways that you can generate leads. One of the other also aspects of it is also the uh, <coughs> excuse me is the lead engine. You could probably talk for days on this page. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> but guys, if you have not utilized landing pages, squeeze pages, call capture, you're missing the boat. Have you have you been uh, jumping on any of these, Mo? Of course, yeah. I do a lot of uh, landing pages, and I also my my favorite of all time is the call capture too. So, yeah, I'm not sure if you want to touch on that. Yeah, call capture is. Think of it like this: you've got a listing. It doesn't have to be a listing; it could be online marketing. But say you've got a listing, and instead of having that brochure box at the front, and uh, you've, you've got a bunch of flyers that you've printed off and the neighbors next door doesn't like your listing and they take them out and they throw them away every night. You have no idea who's taking those brochures, what's going on. You have no way of following up. But imagine putting a sign right at the bottom of your sign writer saying, click to get a virtual tour on your phone of this property. Text info to this number. You would pay to have this service. Guess what? It's free with KV Core. And you can literally make up almost any text message and start generating leads because when they text that information to that phone number, guess where it goes? Yep, right into your CRM system, right to your phone, and you start to interact with them. So you know, I've had people that have texted when they're standing, you know they're standing right in front of your house, so you go, hey, you know, hey, I just want to follow up. I know you're standing in front of the home. How can I help you? And they're like, how did you know that? Well, you just texted, right? And then you start the conversation. Guys, this service right here, you would pay $20, $30 a month for. It's part sure. of your KV Core application. What other ways could you use this, Mo? I use I use it for uh, Craigslist as well. When remember when you when you were in the Craigslist ad, yes. it has a, a part a part in the in the bottom. Yes. And I use one of those key uh, words to tell the customer to text this word, you know, to this uh, phone number. So when that person goes over there and uh, 
uh, Craigslist ad and find that property in Alexandria. And I have here text the word Alexandria to Mo on yes. this uh, uh, 571 number. I will get a text right away saying that this person was on Craigslist on this particular ad and he wants more information about that property in Alexandria. I will get a text immediately. And from that, guess what? This person is already connected to my um, uh, smart KV core system and I can set that drip campaign and I will have that person get an email or a text message immediately. Immediately, I don't have even to be in the house or in the front of a computer. That automatically will happen because I already told uh, the KV core system when you get a message, you know, send that, that reply to that person. That, wow. that drip campaign is an awesome thing. You can, you can set up a, a drip campaign for the next year. You can tell them that in the day, when that person connects to your website, after 55 days, send them that kind of message. And that we, you don't even have to remember. In 55 days, the drip campaign will, to, will send that particular message that you set with this particular customer after 55 days. You can have a drip campaign to do a weekly report to that customer. If the customer is looking for a house in Vienna, that customer will get a list of all the Vienna houses that meet the same criteria every week. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, an, it's an awesome system. It's a it, it really is. And listen, if you feel overwhelmed by it, it's, it, you know, that old saying, it's like eating an elephant. You'll just take it one bite at a time. Learn one of these once a week and you'll become a master of it. Uh, um, you know, here we are coming up on the hour and we haven't even scratched the surface of it. You know what? I think we're going to need to reschedule and do just one about lead generation because landing pages, squeeze pages, call capture, you know, all this stuff, virtual open houses, that could take an hour. Yeah. yeah. Guys, just so you know, I'm, I'm not even going to uh, get into this too much, but these pages right here, if you, these are called landing pages. And if this, you were this to, is, and that costs a lot of money to have a company to do that. I was going to say. It's, it's, it's money, that, it's things that you get for free. This landing pages, people... Uh, have companies that they only create uh, landing pages for you and they charge you very uh, big amount of money. <laughs> I'm changing. I can change all the text here. I can make it uh, for buyers. I can make it for sellers. I can make it for agent attraction. I can have it for video, uh, drop a video in there. It's It's incredible. And as Mo said, You'd pay big money to have this for a company to do it or to try and do it yourself with a landing page company. It's free. Don't tell anyone. I, I, my, in my business and my side business, I do create <laughs> landing pages <laughs> in different, in different, uh, not EXP customers for other, you know, professionals. I have a dent, two dentists that I'm working with. Right. I do landing pages. Well, they I don't do have a KV core stuff. site, so they can't do it. But for those folks that are watching this, you get this for free. We're, you know what? I, I'm going to cut it short because I don't want to go longer than an hour because I want to be sensitive to people's time. Would you be open to doing another one just about the lead generation, landing page, splash page aspect of it? Would be a good idea. So I posted this on Capital Crusades. If you see something that you like or on the the uh, the YouTube channel that you want to see more of, put it in the chat session. Let us know. And we'll make sure that it's part of our next uh, webinar. Is that fair enough? Mm -hmm. How did you enjoy your first uh, on-air class? Beautiful. I You're a natural. Nervous. You're a natural. I, I, was, I was nervous in the beginning, but I'm, I'm <laughs> doing fine now. <laughs> As I said, I'm I'm here to help. You know, if anybody wants to, you know, have a question or something, I can I can I will be more than happy to help. But also in the meantime, I advertise my service. I, if someone wants me to uh create you know the custom pages and all that just give me a call or or email me uh, all i need is maybe uh, the login to your kv core site and i will you know if you're not tech savvy if you don't have time to do that even though we have a lot of time now while we're staying at home <laughs> but but also as, as i said you know you can just call me and i can you know do that for you i'm gonna embarrass mo here he's got a big heart he's very generous but I tell you what, uh, he's super tech savvy. I mean, usually I'm like the the nerd in the room, but he takes it to a whole nother level. And so if you are looking for some assistance, 
if you're thinking about joining EXP, you like this particular platform, you want to learn more about it, uh, Mo, where can they get in touch with you? Um, I, I communicate best with, with text messaging and email. So my, my phone number is easy to remember, 703-888-8608. What's your EXP Realty website, your, your, uh, your real estate website? My real estate website, I, I have it. I have my, uh, uh, what do you call that, uh, the point or whatever you call it, the transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's only my first name.com, motaz.com. Motaz.com. And it's going to take you straight to my uh, to my EXP website. Spell Motaz again for everybody. M as in Mary, O as in Orange, E as in Edward, T as in Tom, A as in Apple, Z as in Zebra. And if, you're, and if you're not with the, if you're with the XP, you can hit up Mo for any of his services, questions. If you're not with the XP and you want to learn more about KV Core, maybe you want to be on Mo's team, or maybe you want to learn about lead generation, hit him up as well. Cause he'll, he'll share all that stuff with you on how you can get yeah, this whole application will, for I'll free. I'll be more than happy. Yeah. More than happy to help anyone, you know. Awesome. Uh, I really enjoyed this. EXP, especially EXP. <laughs> I, I've really enjoyed this. You, you're uh, you're a natural at this. So we're going to do this again. We're going to do it strictly on lead generation. Promise? Yes, that'll be, that'll be uh, fun. Okay. Hey, have a good day. Everybody stay Thank safe. You. Be healthy. Thank you, sir. Stay safe. <laughs>